Kiko! I knew it! There's two of her! Oh? Ooh, what's this? Three princes are here to see me! My, my! Are you the surprise guests who came in late? Oh, I wish I'd gotten a better look at you. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? A land far, far away where no one knows me. If you're my prince, you'd take me there, won't you? Come on, pretty please? Oh, is this scoring a hot stud? Three princes? Wait, does that include me too? Duh, the third one's gotta be me. I seriously doubt that. Chie! <laughs> yes, she's my prince. She always leads the way. She is a strong prince. Or at least she was. Was? When it comes down to it, she is just not good enough. She can't take me away from here. She can't save me. Yukiko. Stop. Historic Inn? Manager training? I'm sick of all these things chaining me down. I never asked to be born here. Everything's decided for me, from how I live to where I die. I'm so sick of it. To hell with it all. That's not true. I just want to go somewhere far away. Anywhere but here. Someone please take me away. I can't leave here on my own. I'm completely useless. Stop. Please stop. I have no hope if I stay and no courage to leave. So I sit on my ass. Hoping that someday my prince will come. I don't care where we go. Anywhere's fine. As long as it's not here, I don't give a damn. Historical tradition. Pride of the town. What a bunch of bullshit. How dare you? That's how I really feel. Isn't that right, me? No. Stop! Don't say it! No! You're not me! <laughs> oh, this feels wonderful. It's building more and more. If this keeps up, I'll... I'll... <laughs> together <laughs> hang in there Yukiko I'm right here for you oh really then I'll make sure to give you plenty to deal with
you're not done yet. Show me the strength of yours. Come, my prince. <laughs>
you trying to make me mad? That's not how it's supposed to work. You have to escort me. <laughs> Yosuke's in danger. He needs help. idea. You're no princes! Die, you worthless commoners! Are you hurt? No, I'm not. We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I was so self-centered that I, I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... Oh, I'm so sorry. Chie. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. You had everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall, and, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me, but it was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. If you, if you weren't by my side, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Chie, I never saw the real you either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. <laughs> of course! Thank you. No, don't even mention it. I am just so glad you're safe. <laughs> right on. 
So, who threw you in here? Huh? Who are you? Rather, what are you? I'm Teddy! So who threw you in? I don't know. I think... someone called my name. But my memory's a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry... um... Teddy? No new clues. Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm. Then it really isn't you guys. <laughs> Just joking. You little... You're one lying sack of honey. Uh, anyways, let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. Wait, you're leaving me here? Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, Teddy. I promised to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Come on, pretty please. You're giving me the creeps. That's it. You're stuck here for the rest of your life. Yukiko, are, are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No. I'm just a little tired. I'm sorry, but... I don't remember anything. <sighs> well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was... um... attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. You know, Teddy was saying something like that. Ah, it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. Hi there. We got off work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> a good one, sir. <laughs> uh... Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Yeah, for us on the force too. But, this doesn't mean the case is closed though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi. But she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period either. It's like she really disappeared. It's all pretty fishy if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Stop blabbering, dumbass. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy.
Yeah, don't give it a second thought. Sheesh. He's a real pain sometimes. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. Hmm. I should do the same. <laughs>